Hey guys, today I'm going to be planning part one of my monthly kit Smackdown series. So the kit I have today is the Shop Jessica Hearts kit. Um, and then for the rest of the week, um, you'll get two more videos, one featuring the Glam Planner Monthly View kit and one featuring the Scribble Prints Co. Monthly View kit. And basically, I just wanted to do this to compare the different kits. There's so many different shops making them now, so I might do more next month. I just only happen to have three Erin Condor uh, calendars that I can try them in you know so I can only do three this month but I really wanted to try out okay what is the most functional for me who is making what I think is like the quote best um, version of the monthly kit style so just wanted to try that out um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the top here <clears throat> and she did say in one of her videos that um, she sized this for the new Erin Condren, so you just need to line up the bottom. The new Erin Condren, I still am in the old um, old version. The new one has a thicker color block space, so but it's fine because there's still white space at the top. So you can still use this. You just have to line up the bottom so that it doesn't, if you line up the top, it'll cut into the calendar, if that makes sense. So you can see I've done all my pre-planning with like post-its. It's how I typically do the month. I write down things in my um, personal calendar, monthly calendar that I carry around with me. I write them down throughout the month and then um, transfer them over here when I'm getting ready to plan. Um, so this is one thing I love about the Shop Jessica Hearts kit. It's that she has this calendar. I think this is so unique and such a good idea. Sorry, it's the calendar for the next month. So I just think it's a really cute idea. Okay, this is crooked. I did get this kit in glossy. She does make it in matte and maybe I should have gotten it in matte because I'm already having a little bit of trouble just because we all know I can't lay strict stickers down straight to save my life. Um, so I'm going to do the events later. August is definitely going to be an interesting month. I have, um, I am starting a new job at the end of August. I talked about that a little bit in a video, but I'll talk about it a little bit here. I, um, have worked it with my current company for five years. I had a great experience, but like I always, I keep saying to people, like I feel like I had to, I had to date a couple of guys before I married my husband and I feel like I have to try out a little bit. I've worked in the same type of, in like, so I work generally in a larger industry and then like there's a, I work in like a more specific subset of that industry and I've worked in that specific subset for my entire career, even before this job. I'm having a hard time lining these up straight this is the one thing about Shop Jessica Hearts. She does her stickers so that they go inside the lines, but that makes it kind of hard to get things perfectly straight because it's like the inside the lines is less easy to, to match up than right on the line. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, anyway, that looks pretty good. So yeah, so I've been in that specific subset of industry for my entire career, and so now I'm gonna try still the same general industry, but a less specific subset. I'm gonna put this box over the 31st because it matches the top print to cover this space because it's not in the month. Okay, there we go. So that is all of the like big stuff down. Next I'm gonna go through with these bill dues and put these down first. All of my little green sticky notes are bills. So yeah, I'm definitely excited about the new opportunity. I'm scared because it's a longer commute. I'm like worried that's gonna affect the, my quality of life like being able to film and hang out with my husband and do all my stuff. Um, 
but I'm hoping to use the commutes productively. I like to read so I can use the commutes to read because I'll take public transit. I haven't been listening to as many podcasts because my commute isn't very long and I just tend to listen to NPR. So um, it'll be good to have opportunity to do that. But yeah, August will be weird because I'm giving myself a week off between the two jobs, which is awesome because, I don't know, how often in your adult life do you get, like, a true, like, staycation where you're not traveling and you're not, like, I don't know, don't have any real obligations, so pretty excited about that. And I'm also going on two trips. One's a longer one to Cal, well, not that long, a long, longish weekend or long weekend to California and the other one's a long weekend in West Virginia with my girlfriends. The California one's for a wedding. I think those are all the bills, so that's good. Um, so am I missing any? Okay, I think that's it for the bills. So let's take a look at what we have in the kit. So she has all of these, Oh, I didn't actually mark down my paydays, but I know when they are. And I still will be getting paid this month, so that's good. Um, I have two paydays this month. Um, oh, she made it, did she? Oh, okay, in the past these have been like a little bit more narrow so that you put those up there, but now they're like the full width of a box, so you can put them down here. I don't know if that made any sense. They were like sized so that they would go next to the number and not cover the number. But now she just made them the full width. Well, I'm two paydays this month. I don't have a rent due. I'm gonna use this little reminder for my contacts. Okay, and now I wanna go through and start putting down the events, like I said. So, I think I should probably mark down our travel first. So on Thursday night we leave for California. She has these really cute gold glitter strips. I'm trying to see the length of them. So I need three days worth, so I guess I better use a long one. And I'll cut it. And I kind of like doing these up a little higher so that you can see that you're really blocking the day out. And let me get my X-Acto knife here. And then I like putting like a flag to mark the times. So I'm gonna take this yellow flag, put this here. And I'm gonna do, do I wanna do the gold glitter? Yeah, I guess so. Um, so yeah, I am taking like a couple days. This is, I'm leaving that night, so I'm working on Thursday, but they are letting me take like the Friday and the Monday off of work before I, um, before I leave on the 18th, the job, um, which is just, is another sh sign of how cool they are. They're just, it's a good company. Um, and I'm hoping to really be done with the majority of my work work before I leave for this vacation and then just be kind of wrapping stuff up when I get back. I think that makes the most sense. And then I'm gonna take another one of these flags. Do this here. And take the other one. Oh, I did these wrong. I did, I used the up one, I used the down one for going up and vice versa. But I think as long as you kind of turn them, it doesn't really matter. Okay, there is that one. And then on, then I want to do the same for the following weekend. It's a, we're going, we're driving to West Virginia. Um, someone has access to a cabin and we're going there. So that'll be pretty fun. Okay, so now the trips are marked out and now I need to start marking out like the more, like the specific events. I'll start with the birthdays. I'm gonna use, these little markers. She also has these plain strips. She has all these hearts. She has a lot of stuff. It's very cute. She's got two birthday icons, so that's good. So I have two friends' birthdays this month. Okay, so there are the birthdays. Let me write down who they are before I forget. 
And then on the 27th, I'm supposed to, we're also supposed to do, we have like a standing, the last Saturday of every month we do a girls club sort of thing. So I'm gonna grab one of these. And I'll do the gold heart. Okay, and then I wanna block out the days where I am the last day of my old job and the first day of my new job. So she has a few of these different, she actually has a lot of them. I think I'll do this one because it'd be easy to write on. So I put two labels down on the 18th one. One because it's the last day of work, so I'm gonna take um, take this asterisk. Actually, I'll just take the gold glitter one. I like the gold glitter. Up here. And then I wanna put um, it also, my husband has an HOA meeting. I mean, I guess we both have an HOA meeting, but he's the board president, so he has to be there. And I don't know if I'll go out to like, ooh, I just totally smeared that. Shoot, that was totally my fault. Um, okay, I'm gonna lift this up and redo it. I was just trying to say, I'm not sure if they'll do, if we'll like, like my work friends, if we'll go out to a happy hour or something that night, or I don't know. If people are gonna do anything for me, I have worked there for five years, we'll see. Um, okay, I'm gonna redo that sticker. Okay, I kind of hate my handwriting there, but that's fine. And okay, so those two days are blocked. Let me write in this day. Okay, there is that. And then while I'm over here, I'll do these other ones in the bottom corner. I do wish she had like um, wine glasses, which how many times have I made that complaint about a kit? Um, but I don't know, I guess I, I do like to plan out like my happy hours and social events in the monthly calendar. So I would, I could use like a, some sort of drinking icon. I would not object to, but probably just says more about who I am as a person than anything else. Um, I guess we're gonna leave that one a little crooked. And she, does she have like a dentist one? She does, neat. I'm not quite sure what time it is on the 23rd. So basically it was supposed to be earlier in the month but it ended up overlapping with um, a important work meeting I had to be at so I need to move it. I haven't done it yet. So, but I, I'm i sure they'll have availability. I, I can I can go any time this week because I'm not working. So I might have to move this to like a different day, but I'm, I'm hoping, I'm aiming for the 23rd. Oops, I totally bent these. Ah, oops, 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 my bad. I also want to write in what these trips are. It'll be kind of hard to read on the gold glitter, but I mean, I, I know what they are, but I just like to write it in. Okay, now let me take care of these events in the upper corner. Oops, that was just one that shouldn't be there. Okay, coworker. And I totally am marking down the Olympics opening ceremony in my planner. I don't care if that makes me a gigantic dork. I love the Olympics. I am so excited for the Olympics. Um, I, yeah, definitely will be watching a lot um, and like planning it out in my planner, whatever. I'm a gigantic dork. Um, what to use though for an icon? Ooh, like a kettlebell. <laughs> it's like they're strong, right? And then on that Saturday, we are not quite sure what we're doing yet. I, there's like potential for two different events. I'm just gonna take a decorative sticker since I have it and put it down on Saturday first and then put a label over top of it. Um, and 
yeah, that we have like, I, I had like one tentative event and then we were invited to another thing. So I'm trying to figure out what which one we're doing. So for now, I'm just gonna leave that event blank and I'll write it down once we figure it out later this weekend. And I'll put in, I'll just put in the, uh, the asterisks. And then I have the other decorative ones to use. I think that's it for the stuff I wanted to label. The only other thing is that like one of these days, I think we might try to take like play hooky for hooky. Yeah, rookie, you know, hooky. Play hooky for a day. So I have this whole week off, like I said. So there's this thing near us where it's like you go um, tubing on a river and it's so fun. But in the summer weekends, it gets crazy busy like super super ridiculously busy really annoying so i might go back and like add that in i'm trying to decide if i want to block a day for it i just really don't know what day it'll be so i'm just going to take these date these like leftover day covers and just kind of put them down randomly instead just for like some decoration really Okay, and then I need to do the headers for the sidebar. Where are those? Where's that sheet? Here. So I don't need to do bills due because I already have that. I'm definitely gonna do a monthly to do. I'm gonna do goals. I've been enjoying tracking the books I'm reading lately. And I'll do cleaning since I really wanna use that week that I have off to really like tackle some more like organization, like things I've been putting off basically. Okay, very cute. I think she has really good variety of those headers. Now the last thing is I am gonna do the date dots. I have not been doing that as much in recent months because I just find them a little annoying to place down if I'm being perfectly honest, but I do wanna give you guys like the full view of this kit so that you could decide if it's the kit for you. Um, so I'm gonna go through and do that. I'm probably gonna do it off camera, so I'll be right back. Okay, so there is the Shop Jessica Hearts kit all filled in. Um, I have the date dots down. I do find them a little bit annoying to place down, but I think it does give like a nice cohesive look in the end. I really like this kit. Um, the color combination like with the green and the teal like there almost felt like too many colors although I do think it kind of came together in the end um I definitely really like the functionality of the shop Jessica Hearts kit let me show you what I have left and I'll give you some specific thoughts so I used up this entire sheet that has like all of the kind of base of the kit still a decent number of icons left which I like there's a good variety I used up pretty much all the bill dues. Obviously, I don't know if stuff is canceled yet. Um, and I don't know that I really need those. Like, I don't consider my monthly view to be kind of like a working spread, if that makes any sense. I guess if I knew something in advance, like, I don't know, like the HOA meeting was canceled, I could put it down. But it's not like, I just use this as kind of like a reference um, when I go to pre-plan my weeks every week that I have like all of my bills and events already here. So it's not like it's a, like I don't need to mark down as much if things are canceled, but anyway. Um, I really like these strips, definitely use those. And then I used a good amount of these labels um, up in when I was marking my events. So overall, I really like this kit. I think it has almost, you know, everything I would want in terms of functionality. I love the labels, I love the icons. A few icons I wish that were in here. Um, I wish there were, like I said, some wine glass or something to mark a happy hour. Although I just use the heart, which is fine. Um, I wish that there, um, I could see something maybe about a doctor's appointment. She did have one dentist one, which I liked, um, but maybe a doctor's appointment or maybe like an at symbol just to mark down appointments generally. I personally don't really mark down um, like recycling days and things like that in my monthly um, calendar, but I could understand that some people do. But yeah, I think there's a really good selection here and I certainly ended up with plenty and a good amount of like generic enough ones like exclamation point, asterisks, hearts that you can kind of make apply them to anything. Um, I really like that she has these little flags. Um, to Like I like to use them to mark out vacations. I love that she has the strips. Um, 
I think the only things I would like the, that I would want changed about this when I'm comparing it to other kits, I personally don't really like how her stickers are designed to go inside the lines. I find it harder to get things straight and I just, it, I feel like it ends up looking a little bit more sloppy than if they just, like if I can lay it down straight on the line and then have it be a clean line, if that makes any sense. Um, I think this is a really solid option. Um, I definitely like the header she includes. Oh, that's the one thing. I knew there was one thing I was forgetting. I almost wish that these were checklists, not just lines. I like to check stuff off through the month, so um, I would prefer if they were, you can still kind of check them, but it's nice to have a little box to check, you know? So, okay, so that was the one thing I wanted to say. So, so that is it for this kit. Like I said, um, this will be going up on Sunday. So come back again on Tuesday for the next video in this series. I will be doing the, uh, probably the Scribble Prints Co. one next um, to share that with you guys. So definitely come on back and see what that looks like. I love the shop Jessica Hearts, so it'll be tough to beat, well, but, but I will give you my thoughts on Scribble Prints Co. next. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.